Yeah, and you can bugger off and all laughing at me. Yes, this is Strider on the Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. Um, you know, there's times where you go back and play a game that you used to play many, many moons ago, and you remember that you were quite good at that game. And when you go back and play it, you remember certain parts of the game. But what you don't remember is actually the parts of the game that you should remember. In other words, the tricky parts that you probably hone many hours in, in learning how to how to conquer, you see, those seem to be the ones that you forget. And the bits which don't really matter, like where there's a couple of hundred points bonus stashed away somewhere, you sort of remember. Um, that's kind of what happened to me when I got hold of Strider and started playing it again. The silly bits I remembered, the important bits that I should have remembered um, are going to become very self-evident that I completely bloody well forgot um, in playing the game. Um, and it starts right away. Strider is one of them games that doesn't mess about at all. It throws you right in the action right away. It's, It was, I think it was one of the early Mega Drive games, I'm pretty certain of that. Um, and it is absolutely awesome. I love this game. I used to have it for the Commodore 64, um, but the C64 version isn't a patch on this. I mean, I know that the Mega Drive is far more powerful than the Commodore 64, but the Commodore 64 version, as I recall, wasn't particularly great. It was good, it was alright, but it wasn't particularly great. This, however, is a great version of the game, um, and it's one of the best versions of Strider out there. Um, and it was one of those titles that came along when the Mega Drive was launched that really showcased the Mega Drive was going to appeal to people who wanted um, decent arcade conversions and this was one of those games this golden axe games of the of those type really showed that it was going to be your console of choice because essentially he had a, a tie up between this and the likes of the super nintendo although the mega drive came out before the super nintendo one of the key selling points was always always going to be what exactly do you want more? Do you want more arcade conversions or do you want more um, original games? And that was really the decision that I always had to stick with Sega because I had the Master System prior to the Mega Drive was I was a real arcade nutcase. I loved arcade games um, and the Mega Drive to me just seemed to give me the opportunity to play um, as good a versions of those games as you possibly could get, um, you know, at a fairly reasonable price as well. Um, I mean, by no means are the arcade perfect, but you know, this is as good as it. This is as good and near as damn it as you were going to get. Um, certainly for the price of buying the Sega Mega Drive, um, and it was awesome. I absolutely loved it, but it's one bloody tough game. I mean, it's very, very unforgiving. Um, but then again, that's how arcade games were. That's how they were and that's how they should be. And Strider never made any apologies for that. And like I say, the interesting thing going back and playing this for me was just how the hell did I forget some of the bits that I spent ages playing and mastering and, and was able to complete and do very, very easily. Um, it's just completely gone out of my mind. I mean, there were some boss battles like the the, the iconic um, robotic King Kong gorilla thing um, I did first time. You know, I remembered how to defeat that thing without too many problems, and yet the more the more important bits of like when to jump. I mean, I remembered that one. I mean, at this point while I was playing the game, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm back in the swing of it. And then, as you'll see shortly, I just my head just completely goes up my ass. It's just I can <laughs> totally forget where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, this was something that I had off to a T. I mean, I never used to lose any energy at all 
going through this. I think the first time I would be prone to losing any energy in the game for in this sort of level was actually the bit where you go into the more prehistoric Amazonian um, level. This I could do... Qu no, that's actually a complete lie because I'm forgetting all about the battleship fight. Yeah, forget that. I'm, I'm, I'm lying. I'm, I'm making myself out to be a far better gamer than I ever was. Um, <laughs> no, the level after this where you're on the big battleship thing, that was where... What I'm trying to say is this I could do with my eyes shut. I never, ever lost energy here. And I'm not just losing energy, I'm losing lives here. And it's all because I completely forgot where I was supposed to go and the fact that I was supposed to wait for something to appear. Like, I've gone completely wrong here. And I hate this. You know when I do a video and I look back and I can remember while I'm watching the video what I was supposed to be doing and where I've gone wrong. And I just think, God, the people watching this video who have played Strider to death must be looking at this and thinking, what the hell is he doing? And, yeah, I'm totally with you. The person, the me sat here looking at this video is thinking to the me who sat and played this game so badly, what the hell am I doing? So, I'm totally with you on that one. Um, you know, obviously, to me now, the obvious thing is you go to the top and you wait for the little um, hover ship thing to come along. Um, it's, yeah, quite what I was doing, I don't know. So, yeah, enough of that. Let's get that out of the way. So, yeah, here's the... <laughs> Here's later on that day, shall we say, um, certainly later on in the game, and yeah, it's it is it's it's a fantastic game. It really is worth trying to track down if you've not got it and you do have a Mega Drive. Although it is available on, um, I think the Capcom Classics compilation. Now I don't know if it's the remix or reloaded one on. Um, the PlayStation Portable. It's on one of them anyway, and it's that's the proper arcade version. But um, yeah, yeah, you, you, it is worth tracking. If you've got a Mega Drive and you haven't got this, you're missing out on one of the classic Mega Drive games, and one of the games that helped to define the Mega Drive to be the console that it is. So yeah, it is well worth checking out. I strongly recommend that um, you track it down. I think, I mean, this cost me, I think, about £1.99 or something completely ridiculous. And it came in immaculate condition um, with the box and the instructions and everything like that. So if you're a collector, you, you know, you can get these. I mean, I actually got this off Amazon, believe it or not. So, you know, it's not just eBay. Sometimes it's worth checking out other sources as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. This is Strider on the Sega Mega Drive. Thank you very much for watching. And laugh now as I complete my disaster by going through all that trouble and then stuffing up this. Thank you for watching.